The Gaussian integral, also known as the Euler Poisson integral, is the integral of the Gaussian function e minus x2 over the entire real line. It is named after the German mathematician and physicist Carl Friedrich Gauss. The integral is this integral has a wide range of applications. For example, with a slight change of variables it is used to compute the normalizing constant of the normal distribution. The same integral with finite limits is closely related both to the error function and the cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution. In physics this type of integral appears frequently, for example, in quantum mechanics. To find the probability density of the ground state of the harmonic oscillator, also in the path integral formulation, and to find the propagator of the harmonic oscillator, we make use of this integral. Although no elementary function exists for the error function, as can be proven by the Risch algorithm, the Gaussian integral can be solved analytically through the methods of multivariable calculus. That is, there is no elementary indefinite integral for but the definite integral can be evaluated. The Gaussian integral is encountered very often in physics and numerous generalizations of the integral are encountered in quantum field theory. Computation Bipolar coordinates a standard way to compute the Gaussian integral, the idea of which goes back to Poisson, is to make use of the property that Consider the function e minus equals e minus r2 on the plane r2, and compute its integral two ways. On the one hand, by double integration in the Cartesian coordinate system, its integral is a square. On the other hand, by shell integration, its integral is computed to be pi. Comparing these two computations yields the integral, though one should take care about the improper integrals involved. On the other hand, where the factor of r comes from the transform to polar coordinates, and the substitution involves taking s e equals minus r2, so ds equals minus 2r drive, combining these yields so. Careful proof to justify the improper double integrals and equating the two expressions, we begin with an approximating function. If the integral were absolutely convergent we would have that its Cauchy principal value, that is, the limit would coincide with to see that this is the case, consider that so we can compute by just taking the limit. Taking the square of yields using Fubini's theorem, the above double integral can be seen as an area integral taken over a square with vertices on the xy plane. Since the exponential function is greater than zero for all real numbers, it then follows that the integral taken over the squares in circle must be less than, and similarly the integral taken over the squares circumcircle must be greater than. The integrals over the two disks can easily be computed by switching from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. Integrating by the squeeze theorem, this gives the Gaussian integral by Cartesian coordinates a different technique, which goes back to Laplace is the following. Let since the limits on s as y plus or minus infinity depend on the sign of x, it simplifies the calculation to use the fact that e minus x2 is an even function, and, therefore, the integral over all real numbers is just twice the integral from zero to infinity. That is, thus, over the range of integration, x0, and the variables y and s have the same limits. This yields Therefore, as expected, relation to the gamma function, the integrand is an even function, thus, after the change of variable, this turns into the Euler integral where gamma is the gamma function. This shows why the factorial of a half integer is a rational multiple of, more generally, generalizations. The integral of a Gaussian function The integral of an arbitrary Gaussian function is in alternative form as this form is very useful in calculating mathematical expectations of some continuous probability distributions concerning normal distribution. See, for example, the expectation of the log normal distribution. N-dimensional and functional generalization Suppose A is a symmetric positive definite n times n covariance matrix. Then, where the integral is understood to be over Rn, 
This fact is applied in the study of the multivariate normal distribution. Also, where sigma is a permutation of 1, 2 n, and the extra factor on the right-hand side is the sum over all combinatorial pairings of 1, 2 n, of n copies of a minus 1. Alternatively, for some analytic function f, provided it satisfies some appropriate bounds on its growth and some other technical criteria. The exponential over a differential operator is understood as a power series. While functional integrals have no rigorous definition, we can define a Gaussian functional integral in analogy to the finite dimensional case. There is still the problem, though, that is infinite and also, the functional determinant would also be infinite in general. This can be taken care of if we only consider ratios. In the DeWitt notation, the equation looks identical to the finite dimensional case. N-dimensional with linear term if A is again a symmetric positive definite matrix. Then integrals of similar form an easy way to derive these is by parameter differentiation. One could also integrate by parts and find a recurrence relation to solve this. Higher order polynomials exponentials of other even polynomials can easily be solved using series. For example the solution to the integral of the exponential of a quartic polynomial is the n plus p equals 0 mod 2 requirement is because the integral from minus infinity to 0 contributes a factor of n plus p 2 to each term, while the integral from 0 to plus infinity contributes a factor of 1 half to each term. These integrals turn up in subjects such as quantum field theory.